welcome to Tim's Workshop. Going down the trail here at uh, South Bend towards the uh, the beach. So I'm going to show you that. Let's go. Uh, there's a path here. Shows you the trail. I'm just using my uh, GoPro and uh, I have my clamp gooseneck that I got it attached to. So hopefully it's not too jittery. I got my buddy, buddies with me. What do you think, buddy? Shall we go down this trail and check it out? All right. <laughs> so uh, I don't have my microphone uh, set up. I just uh, just using the GoPro mic, and I got it so close to my face anyway, so it should be fine. Oh, place to wash off your uh, your feet, your pets and your rakes for digging up clams uh, we're not we're not uh, digging up clams we're just going down here to check it out oh a sasquatch cool bay center koa oh he's got a he's got a float thing tied to his foot in case there's high tide in here that way he doesn't float away that's good to know <laughs> oh there's a troll crossing around here so just uh just so you know for the next 10 kilometers and somebody wrote on here one of many float something the smallest by far okay that's that's good to know. Lots of floats around. Oh, gargoyle. Hey, Cody. Your frog, uh, your frog, your porch frog would like this guy for sure. He looks about as mean as your porch frog. <laughs> well, let's keep going here. I'll turn the camera back on if there's something more interesting than just trees and a path. Hmm, there's something in between this tree here. What the heck? Oh, he's even chained down. Whoa, buddy. Go check this guy out, buddy. Go up there. Go up there. No, no, go up there. Check it out. Oh boy, what is that, buddy? He's kind of spooky looking, isn't he? Come on out of there. Oh boy. Come on, buddy. What's the other side of him look like here? Ooh. Well, I don't know. It's not a cow. He's got a twisted horn that's painted black. He's only got one horn though. One of his teeth is missing. It's over there. Hmm. Looks like he needs some dental work. Yeah, that's for sure. I wouldn't want to have to pay that bill. All right, let's see. Whoa, what do we got over here? We got a homeless camp? <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. Looks like a rest stop here. There's a bench, garbage can, a lot of floats, bait bags. Man, those bait bags are huge. Not like the one I have for my crab pot at home. Huh. All right, come on, buddy. Well, let's turn it back on here. We're almost to the beach here. Well, looks like we got some stairs, buddy. Yep. That'll be fun coming back up. That will take our time. It's not that bad.
Come on, buddy. Buddy. Uh, okay. Well, we made it down the stairs. Yeah. Down here. Tilt the camera back a little bit. A lot of driftwood. Yeah, got some two by fours over here, buddy. Jeez, that's a gold mine. Here we go. And somebody built themselves a, a little shelter here. Looks like the roof's gone. This board here is probably worth a couple hundred dollars right there. That's like digging up gold now. Oh, that's a two by six. Here's a two by four. Treated too. That's worth another couple, couple hundred bucks. Yeah, there's gold down here, buddy. Look at the shells in the side of the the bank here. <laughs> They're just embedded. Wow. The water can get up here pretty high. It's out low right now, that's for sure. Ah, oh, the smell of salt water and seaweed. Lots of seaweed. Let's see if we can get through here without sliding on our butts. There we go. Okay, here we are. We're on the beach. Those of you in California appreciate the Washington beaches, I'm sure. All the beautiful sand. Not. <laughs> a lot of shells, though. They say all you'd need is a rake, and you could just rake up steam clamps down here. And the limit is like 40 per person. I don't know about you, but I don't think I could eat 40 clams in one setting. I'd give it a good try, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take a couple pictures for the wife. She won't see this video. But it's beautiful here. Nice and nice breeze. It's overcast. The marine, they call it the marine layer. Yeah. Nice and cool. When it's a really hot inland, this is the place to be. And it's not that far. You drive like, uh, I don't know, 60 miles or so from uh, the I-5 over here, 40, 50, something like that. And you're right down there where it's nice and cool. All right, I'm gonna take a couple pictures for the wife. Huh, well, trying to figure this one out. These chairs are like giant, so, I think the Sasquatch and uh, Mrs. Sasquatch live here. This is private property, no trespassing. So that's my guess, you know. I, I need a ladder just to get on those things myself. So yeah, it has to be for Sasquatch and his, and his wife. Uh, I'm trying to think of what her name would be. Mrs. Sasquatch or... Uh, uh, Mahari, maybe. Mahari, uh, and Harry, Mahari, Harry. Okay, there we go. That's probably it. I'm probably 100% right on that. And it is private property. All right. Going out uh, with their buckets and rakes with their uh, boots on go uh, rake up some uh, steamer clams out here. It's low tide, perfect time to go out and get some clams. Yeah. I don't have my license for shellfish right now, but that's all right. We're in the RV. I mean, where am I going to put all the uh, 40 clams, you know? I put them in the freezer, but uh, we got that thing kind of loaded up right now anyway. Hey, we're on vacation. We'll just go buy ourselves a clam dinner somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, but it's kind of cool. If uh, 
we do plan on uh, doing some clamming. What I could do is put the, put my uh, cooler in the back of the truck, but it would actually have to be a freezer. I, I need to get a, like a small mini fridge, but one that's actually a freezer. And then I could put stuff in there and then uh, it'd still be good when I got home, you know, but I don't even know if they have such a thing. Uh, pack it in dry ice or something. I don't know. I just, I don't know how you would, uh, after you get something like that, how you, how you keep it fresh, you know, especially when you're gone for a while. Of course, everybody would say, well, just eat it. Well, yeah, but you're not going to eat that much all at the same time, you know, make yourself sick. And you have to keep uh, keep an eye on uh, the red tide thing, you know, if it's safe to eat the, the shellfish when you do get them. So you have to look that up on the uh, Washington State Fisheries and see what the conditions are and where it's, where you can shellfish, where you not not allowed to shellfish. So there's a little bit to it. Yeah, you have to do your homework. Oh, there's some more people way down there, around the corner. I don't know if you can even see them with this camera, but yeah, it's nice out here. Yeah, we're gonna go back up to the trailer and see how Mama's doing. <laughs> 